Hi, my name is Barton Siever. I am the co-editor of Seafood and the Menu Magazine, and thank you for your interest in a topic that I've dedicated my career to, and that is seafood. There are so many innovations happening in the seafood industry right now that it's a really exciting time. And one of the hotspots of that is Alaska. Not only does Alaska represent a keystone of our ability to maintain, sustain the heritage of our fisheries, that which we've always done, it's also really showing us and some very innovative producers of how seafood can become ever better, can get to our doorstep as chefs in ever higher quality. And fresh frozen is really one of the fundamental keys that's going to, I think, revolutionize the seafood industry. What I've got in front of me right now is the marquee items of Alaska fisheries, and that is the king salmon. And this came to me rock hard frozen. And so it's gonna take a day, two days to thaw out Norwalkin, but after it slacks out, what I'm gonna be showing you is some menu strategies to use nose to tail on seafood in order to get incredible value, in order to flex our creativity and create sales opportunities that matter and drive our menus. Let's start at the nose. I've got salmon head. Took the gills out, split it down the middle, I'm gonna brine it and smoke it, and I'm gonna serve that as part of a cassoulet. I'm gonna take the bones over here, make a stock out of that, marry that all together into one dish, and use the, the sort of creative presentation aspect of the salmon head smoked like a ham hock sticking out of beans. Ooh, I mean, that's really cool. And it takes what's otherwise waste and turns it into really a compelling entree. In terms of execution on the real marquee items, here are my entrees. So what I like to do is I like to cut off the belly strips that I have here because then you end up with um, consistent size pieces that a cook is gonna be able to execute on the same on time after time after time. And you know what, I always, I never like it when I go into a restaurant and two people order the salmon and one person gets this tail piece and the one person gets this gorgeous center hunk, right? It doesn't portray the same value. So let's sell them differently. This keeps the execution consistent, it keeps the presentation consistent, and it's just a beautiful product. Here, those thinner belly pieces that overcook when you're trying to cook something that thick when they're still attached, these I'm gonna brine, brown sugar, salt, a little bit of soy sauce, I'm gonna hang them in the smoker for a day along with the head, and that's gonna become just culinary gold. Flake that onto salads, just sell it as bar snacks, I mean, it is just salmon candy, and it is excellent. And then, you're still left with a few extra pieces, and that's where culinary ingenuity really comes into play. As you start getting down towards the tail end and you start getting towards those thinner areas, what I like to do is splay the meat out and roll it up into porchettas. And so I'll marinate this with fennel seed and garlic, lemon zest, and then I'll roll it up and crisp the outside and perfectly cooked on the inside, sliced as an entree for four or two, and it's just beautiful. And I got two portions of that, and then I got two portions of a chop cut. So about eight ounces coming right off the collar. This meat is beautiful on the grill. You give this to a bartender, you know, two entrees to sell, hand sell that evening, guarantee they're gonna fly off, fly off the menu. So after all that, really, that's all the waste that we're left with. This salmon is incredibly profitable. It's also pretty darn sustainable because of the lack of waste and it sustains us because of its profitability.